Alright, so in this video I'll be guiding you on how to unlock the secret good ending of Black Myth Wukong and ultimately finding one of the hardest bosses in the game. To do that we have to complete three secret area missions along with a secret quest in chapter 3. So we're gonna start off at chapter 1. First of all travel to outside the forest in the forest of the wolves and follow along the path. And we are here. I'm just gonna cut the boss fight because I don't wanna spoil you. Anyways, once you defeat this boss, you can ring the bell. Alright, hit the bell. After doing that, we can move on to the second location of the second bell. So travel to Rainbow Grove Snake Trail location or side of grace and follow along. Alright, we're almost here. Again, defeat the boss and ring the bell. This is the second location. Okay, now we're moving on to the third location. Travel to Bamboo Grove again and Marsh of White Mist, Side of Grace. I should not call it Side of Grace, but I'm used to it, sorry, forgive me. And just follow along. So basically here you need to defeat a boss and once he's defeated, you can again ring the bell and you'll get transported to the temple. That was a cool fight by the way. Okay, follow along for the bell location. You truly seek the three bells. Have you seen them all? Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the black winged wires returned, yet no one was ever And I thought I can ring I can actually ring the bell, but nope, you have to defeat the enemies. Which sucked, but anyways, they're easy. See how easy they are? <laughs> okay, once you defeated them all, ring the bell. Do you like the sound of the bell? I like it. So 
So now you'll be transported to the temple. Can you see it? Alright, so now we're here. Follow along. Enter the temple. I believe there's a rest here. Yeah, there is. Okay. So activate the rest in case you die. Because you're a loser. I'm not. I never die. You can open this chest, but I'm not going to do it. So enter the temple. Open the door. And you will find the boss. I really hate him. I don't know why. He annoys me. Anyways, it's an easy fight. Like, extremely easy. Just defeat him. And the secret quest is completed. After we do that, we're gonna move on to the secret quest of chapter 2. So firstly, you're gonna complete the stone guy quest. I'm gonna call him the stone guy. So travel to this location and follow along. It's an easy quest. It's not that hard. Talk to him and exhaust all his dialogue. Once you do that, he will tell you about a boss you need to defeat, which is an easy boss, not that hard. So follow along for the location of the boss. By the way, ignore the enemies, you don't have to defeat them. Unless you want extra XP, it's up to you. Almost there, don't you worry. Ignore everybody. And just go for the boss. Alright, defeat this boss. And then go back to the man in the rock or the stone. Now exhaust all his dialogue and eventually you need to attack him. And defeat him. Once you do that, it will give you an item. I think it's a spell. Or a transformation spell. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I forgot. So once you collect the spell, Talk to him again, exhaust his dialogue, and then reload the area. Come back and talk to him. You need to buy an item for the next part of the quest. You can buy everything you want here. Just buy them all. Doesn't matter. Okay, the key item is this one. The Sobering Stone. Now moving on to item number two, which is the Jade Lotus. It's actually at the starting area, so go back to Sandgate Village, side of Grace. You probably have collected this when you first started Chapter 2, but anyways, this is the location. And you can find these anywhere in Chapter 2, I believe. And there you have it, Jade Lotus is here. The last item on the list is the gold coin. So travel to the Valley of Despair and you have to defeat a boss to get the coin. It's an easy boss, very easy. So these are just the items needed for the quest. Just collect them now, it's much easier than going back and forth during the quest.
Alright, so the boss will spawn right here. If he's not spawned in, what you can actually do is come closer to the edge and just interact with it. You will throw a piece of meat and he will show up. So defeat the boss and you'll eventually get the gold coin needed for the next part. Once you do that, we're moving on to the next location, which is Rockrest Flat. So now we're actually gonna meet up with the NPC and we're gonna hand over the items we just collected. Alright, so you're gonna talk to the NPC and then give him the item you just bought from the man in the stone. So once you exhaust all his dialogue, he will let you know you can find him at the Crouching Tiger Temple. So make your way to the Crouching Temple, was it? No, the Temple Entrance, sorry. And you can find him there. So now we're gonna hand over the Jade Lotus we just collected. After doing that, you wanna head back to where you first met him to continue on with the quest. So now he will attack you because he thinks you stole the gold coin. So after you defeated him, you will be transported to a new location. Grab the side of grace in case you die. This is a pretty easy mini boss, you know. Just defeat this guy and continue your way to the main event. Alright, so once he's defeated, he'll let you pass through the gate. And there will be another rest you can grab, which is nice, in case you die, because you never know what happens. The Kingdom of Sahali. By the way, this is an important quest if you want to get the secret ending, just to let you know. I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but I'm reminding you. Now talk to this rat NPC, so you can initiate the battle. You bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skill. All right, the main boss will be spawned, and you have to defeat him. Pretty cool fight, not gonna lie. So make your way down to the boss fight. So once the boss is defeated, you have done the secret quest of chapter 2. Now we're gonna move on to the secret quest of chapter 3. Okay, you wanna travel to North Shore of the Bitter Lake, because we have to meet up an NPC and we're gonna help him out. So follow along the road, shouldn't take long. So 
So basically, the guy is getting ambushed, and we're gonna help him out. Feed the enemies, after that, talk to the NPC. Once you exhaust all his dialogue, move on to the next location. So now you want to go to the Forest of Felicity. This is near the Fox Quest. If you want to know how to complete the Fox Quest, I'll link it in the description, so feel free to check it out. Okay, so we're gonna meet up with the NPC again after we grab this side of grace. And make sure you have the Ring of Fire spell equipped. Again, this is the Towers of Karma Shrine. You wanna use it next to the NPC. So once you exhaust all his dialogue, you want to teleport back to the same shrine, which is the Forest of Felicity. And follow along the path. Okay, so now activate this shrine and give it a rest. You wanna go in here, you will be greeted with a cutscene, and you have to defeat a mini boss, which is the freaking NPC that we helped. What a little biatch. Alright, once he's defeated, again a cutscene will play out. And the baby Buddha, actually he is a cute baby, look at him, will give you the spell. Okay, after you've done that, we're gonna move on to the secret mission of chapter 4. So let's begin by teleporting to the upper hello and follow along. What we're actually doing is we're gonna smash a cocoon and a boss will appear from the cocoon. We have to defeat him and move on to the next location. Basically that's it. Very simple. Okay, grab this shrine and give it a rest. And the cocoon is here. 
you can ignore these ones and focus on this one, the big one. So you're gonna smash it and the boss will appear, you have to defeat the boss. So a quick tip, make sure you break his arms, like attack him from behind and you will get a special courier I believe. Or a drink, I'm not too sure so I didn't do it in this playthrough I forgot. Maybe in the next one. So after you do all that move on to the next location, the Court of Illumination. That rhymed actually well. So again we will face the same boss, follow along as we defeat him again. This time he's a bit harder, like a tiny little bit, not that much, it's an easy boss. So to feel him the second time, a cutscene will play out revealing a painting and interacting with this painting will transport you to the secret purple cloud area. So interact with the painting and you will be in the new secret area. Looks beautiful. Alright, so follow the path. Purple Cloud Mountain. The first thing you want to do is talk to the snake and exhaust all her dialogue. Grab the shrine and then again continue your way. By the way, there's an NPC in this area. Make sure you do his quest first before fighting any bosses in this area, okay? Don't forget, because I think it will be locked after you defeat one boss. You can't complete the quest anymore. That's what I think, I'm not too sure. So I might as well just complete it right now and get it over with. So we're gonna meet up with this guy. I think his name is the Diost Me, something like that, I don't know. It's been long since any song. May you find some luck there. So he will ask of you to get him a special item, which you can farm from these yellow guys. There you go, that's the item, bring it back to him. After you give him this item, you have to actually defeat this boss. 
because he goes crazy. So it's a two-phased boss fight. Defeat him the first time, the cutscene will happen. Then defeat him the second time, and that will be the end of the quest. Alright, once you do all that... Alright, so go back to the shrine we grabbed earlier. And now we're going to fight an optional boss. Actually, I don't know if it's optional. Maybe not. You're gonna fight him anyway, so who cares? Let's go. He is a tough one, okay? He is a tough boss. So grab this shrine, give it a rest, and prepare yourself for an epic fight. So to activate this fight, you have to destroy his... What are these? Pots? Or jars? So good luck with that. Once you defeat him, you want to continue on to the final boss. So continue on to the Cloud Nest Peak Shrine. And this is at the final boss. So again, two-phase boss fight, defeat him, and now you've completed the secret purple area. Finally, we are moving on to the final secret mission, which is chapter 5 secret quest. So let's start off by traveling to Ashen Pass 1 shrine. And what we want to do is we're going to defeat a boss, which is actually the NPC. And then talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. So after you do that, you can actually reload the game, and then you will find him at this cliff. You can talk to him a couple of times, just to make sure you don't miss anything. And he will ask you to defeat four cards. So this is the first card. You will find it right here, next to him actually. So go ahead, defeat this card, and then we move on to the next location. Which is Height of Amber Shrine. This is the third shrine in this area. Defeat this mini boss. After you do that, you can open the door. And now we're going for the second location of the cart.
again defeat this card then move on to the third location which is the emerald hole so this is where you need to defeat a boss after you do that you can go back and rest here and then continue your way to the third location of the card Repeat the cycle. Actually, never mind. So, after defeating this one, you can reload the area and come back here. You will find. I don't know his name, like the Taurus guy. We're gonna call him the Taurus guy. Talk to him, exhaust his dialogue, and then move on to the final location of the final court. So, follow along the journey. By the way, this is a very long run, unfortunately, I know. Okay, after completing that, a cutscene will happen and the girl will lead you to another shrine. She is actually leading you to the final boss. So make sure, I repeat, make sure do not fight him. Because you actually mess up the whole quest and you can't do it anymore and then you will be sad. Keep that in mind, just grab the shrine and follow me, that's all. That's all you need to do. Okay, grab the shrine 
And then we're gonna double back. Oh yeah, we're going way back. To the final location of the cult. And to unlocking the secret area. So follow along. Okay, we made it. Grab the shrine and give it a rest after a long journey. And continue ahead. Now this is the hardest cart of all the other ones we fought. This is the hardest one. So defeat it. And you want to talk to the Taurus guy. If he's not here, just reload the area and come back. I don't know what I was doing here. Forgive me. Anyways, you want to talk to this guy. <laughs> and then the seal will be broken and you can enter the cave. The Bishui cave. Okay, after going through, a cutscene will happen and then again you will be transported into the cave. Make sure to kill everybody in here. Because you don't want to miss out on a lot of loot. So keep that in mind. Don't just rush it. Right, this is the first run we get, rest at it, and then continue on. We're actually going to fight the, you know, that rolling ball. That was so annoying. So we're gonna fight it. This is the first boss in this area. So defeat this thing and then continue on your way. So after progressing through the area, you will be at the final shrine, the corridor of fire and ice. And that's where we're gonna fight the final boss.
Alright, once you defeat the boss, a cutscene will play out, which I'm gonna skip to avoid spoilers. And that will be the end of the quest. And now you have completed the secret mission of chapter 5. Alright, finally, the last step, you can teleport back to the Great Pakoda, and there will be an NPC there waiting for you. So go ahead, talk to him. And that's where the magic happens, basically. I'm gonna cut the video. I don't want to show you any spoilers, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video if you found it helpful. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. In his